Hi and welcome to another behind the scenes video. I'm going to try and turn this rig shot into something usable for a website. This is a uh, an older Honda Accord with a turbo. Uh, I took three images here. I've got one with uh, the motion blur and uh, I've got a stationary makeup shot which is going to help out a lot and I've got a picture of the engine. So I'm going to try and incorporate all three. I've actually already had the pleasure of doing this all once and because of a thunderstorm I lost all of the work so I'm going to start over again and hopefully it'll make it look a little smoother this time through. But uh, one of the things I did here was I used a new um, a new technique with my tripod and um, actually had a bar attached underneath the car uh, to stabilize the tripod and keep more of the tripod out of the image. Uh, as it happens it created more blur than I really would have liked, um, more motion between the camera and the car so most of the front half of the car is really unusable here uh, but that's okay because there was some shadow and highlights and things in it that I didn't like anyway so um, I'm going to use most of the makeup shot um, on that um, just trim around the edges um, and do a little bit of uh, cloning to get rid of the uh, suction cups so uh, the first step in that process is to copy some of this um, image into the other frame so I'm going to use the lasso tool, uh, no feathering, and actually cut out a little bit more than what I really need, um, and I'll just erase it later. So I go kind of around the edges, generous with, with what I've got there, and then uh, across the top there. And what I do here is I use Control c as a shortcut. Control V as my paste and it pastes it into a new layer. Okay, now what you can see here obviously is that it doesn't match up exactly, so I'm going to use free transform um, and start matching it up. Now this this bit's going to be a little bit tedious. I'm going to um, and then you look at the layers here. I'm going to transfer the opacity, change the opacity down a little bit um, on this layer to help me line it up um, with the original underneath. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to use little details on the hood like the um, the window washer squirters and things like that um, and then the fine edges to make sure I've got everything uh, rotated and lined up correctly. Alright, so I've uh, trimmed around the hood of the makeup shot and there's one glaring problem that's left that I need to tidy up and that is that obviously the car from the original moving shot is more blurred than the makeup shot and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like a gradient mask along the hood back into the car and then do a, a, a blur filter to it to make it kind of transition. Um, I'm going to use like a lens blur to make it look like it's depth of field on the hood. It's fairly easy to do. Enter quick mask mode and I'm going to go to the gradient tool and starting somewhere in the middle of the hood here um, and then ending before I get to the car I'm going to put a mask on and then uh, turn the quick mask button off then I'm going to apply the filter blur uh, the lens blur something around radius 25 something like that now my uh, graphics processing is pretty slow uh, I don't have the fancy graphics card or anything like that so it takes a little bit of a, a moment to figure that out Do, um, might do a little bit more there. Alright, so it's going to leave. It's going to leave the front of the car sharp. It's just going to create a blend going back into the car there. So I'm going to hit OK on that. Mm. Yeah, I think that would be OK. If I blur it any more than that, um, the engine won't look right when I do the engine. So. Uh, and a deselect, and um, at this point I need to do a little bit more trimming just to uh, just to take some of the highlights out in these uh, close-up areas. You can see some some bright areas here in the corner around the edges. That kind of tends to make it look sharp. Uh, a little bit more around here. I'm just going to tidy those areas up. Uh, but the blur kind of transitions nicely back into the car there. Don't have any weird boundaries or anything going on there, so that works out nicely. 
um, and then I'll, I'll uh, show you how I clone out these, these pieces here, but they're fairly easy because they're blurred. Okay, so here's how we do cloning. We use the clone tool, uh, which is rather like a brush, and um, I'm going to get in pretty close to the areas you're cloning. Uh, this bit of sensor dust here needs to come out and use the Alt key to select an area that you want to copy from and then select it and then uh, just draw over it and um, the area that it's picking from follows the, um, the brush so that's quite helpful when it comes to cloning out these other areas over here uh, this is all very immensely helpful I can select this curb gradient here and uh, just go right through the middle of all of that. And select this grass gradient here, a little bit in the middle, and just have to make sure I line up the edges. So the goal here is to not put any awkward lumps or bumps in the in the lines, but um, it's really pretty simple. Uh, you just have to spend a little bit of time on it. So I'm going to finish up the cloning job. That's going to involve getting rid of this suction cup over here, getting rid of this suction cup over here. Uh, I'm going to clean this up here, I'm not sure what that was, maybe it was me uh, while I was running next to the car, and then I'm going to clean this up here and also this reflection, um, clean up some of these reflections right here.